Hey guys, I'm Nick from NASA Nick's Motorsports. Uh, this is gonna be part of our video series showing you how to get into jet ski racing. The first part of the video is the most important, which is your safety inspection. So your safety gear, you can choose any helmet you want. It can be dirt bike, it could be motorcycle, snowmobile, BMX, whatever, as long as it has that DOT sticker on the back. Uh, my personal favorite is this dirt bike helmet because it's carbon fiber, it's very light, and I like the color. Uh, as far as shoes go, you can choose just about any kind of shoe you want. Uh, most people use high top Converse, you can use wrestling shoes, you can use water specific shoes. I personally race in work boots. I'm not really sure why, but I like the grip. Um, there, you are gonna see that there is water specific gear. There's no difference between water specific gear and dirt bike gear, um, except for price and the fact that the water stuff just does not seem to hold up whatsoever. I've had very bad luck with the pants and gloves. Uh, going forward, say, uh, that part, we have the gloves. I use O'Neill gloves. And these are just the cheapest goggles I could find on Amazon. The only thing different between water goggles and ATV and anything else is that you just have to remove the bottom foam right here. You can just grab with your fingers and pull it out. That's so that the water can drain out of the goggles when you go underwater. Uh, also, be sure to coat it with rain -X. That helps a lot in racing. Going towards the gear, I use a Jet Tribe vest. I'm not sponsored by them. I kind of wish I was, but I just like the vest. Uh, the reason I use this one is it has a good amount of chest protection in the front because no matter what kind of racing you're doing in jet skis, there is going to be times when you whack the bars with your chest, especially if you're leaning forward and especially on straightaways. So the other half of that is the back part. Most classes are going to require you to have a rear placard that shows your name, your race number, and then you're going to have some kind of back protection. You can use the jet ski specific one only because it mounts the vest a little bit easier, but if you're going to use a, motor, a universal motorcycle one, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. That's what's on here right now. This is actually a universal motorcycle one from No Fear, which is pretty cool. Um, with that said, as far as pants and clothes, it's pretty much whatever you feel like wearing. Um, I wear dirt bike pants mostly because um, I think they look better, they kind of mount to my waist a little better, and they don't seem to fall apart in the water like Jet Tribe and the other pants companies for some reason. Um, they, when people do ask me, does that make you heavier in the water? It absolutely does, but I don't plan on ever falling off, so it's never really a concern for me. Um, and everybody knows pretty much in racing, if you fall off the jet ski, your race is pretty much over. Your likelihood of getting back on the ski and getting back in the race is pretty low, so do your best to stay on the ski and stay in control. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. In the next part, we're gonna show you tech inspection.